All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we made $403 trading GameStop. This is a stock that I don't really trade often, but I decided to really quickly. I just want to show you on the bottom here. I bought a thousand shares. At, I got filled at 27.69. And then I did a market sell, which kind of screwed me over because when I sold, it was at $28.20. But I did market sell and it sold almost 40 cents lower. So didn't get a big gain on that one. That was like a $190 trade. And then I bought and sold 127.85 and then sold at 28.10. We'll break down the levels of what I'm watching on this. And then I added some of those gains to the S&P 500, which I like to do when I make day trading gains. But really quickly, just to give you a count update, we are up year to date $17,921. And as you can see here, this was the GME trade for $403 profit. So $15,800 <clears throat> in this one. And then the short term is $2,100. So we're up almost $18,000 on the year, which is good. But let's break down the levels so you can see what I am trying to trade as we go. So this is the GameStop stock on Weeble. And I start with this one year chart just to show you how ugly this is, how it went up to $64, sold all the way down, and now overnight went from $40 back down to $26. So we'll try to see if we can get any kind of level here on what we're watching. But really quickly, just drawing a horizontal line, you can see that there is potential support in this area. Now it doesn't mean it's gonna stay, but definitely right here I could see why there was consolidation in this area today, right in here from the $26 range up to $30. You can see right here, and you can see right here because it kind of bounced off that $27. So we got to see what GameStop decides to do tomorrow. We might wake up and then tomorrow just goes back up to $35, $40. But the major resistance right now, as you can see, is definitely right here at the $32 range. So we'll see as it is approaching right here if it is going to curl back up you have this nice bullish momentum but then it faded it went all the way from 40 dollars and just went down all the way to 27 28 dollars so i'd be very careful and i don't hold gamestop and sometimes you know you wish you would but shoulda coulda woulda if i can scalp some gains that makes me happy i'm not trying to hold positions like this because it really feels like a gamble and for me that's just not the type of trader i usually am so definitely follow a strict stop loss on this. I mean, let's see if $26.50 holds tomorrow. If it doesn't, then I think we get a move a little bit lower here. Let's say we break $26.50, we go back down to $23, $24. And let's see what that percentage was. Because if you do pull back that much, you're looking at like a 12% loss. So just keep in mind, you buy up here $30, you sell back down to $20. You know, you're giving back, just keep that in mind, 25% of your position. So you just got to be very careful when making these trades. All right, guys, and if you haven't checked it out yet, check out my playlist, the Fidelity Index Funds and ETFs. Check out the Fidelity Crypto Taxable Portfolio. I've been posting updates on this and the trading P&L 2024 where this video will go. There's other things you can check out, long-term investments, where I trade from, which is Fidelity Actual Trader Pro that is free to all traders that use Fidelity and then Vanguard Investments, and then Trading Strategies. So definitely check it out. There's a lot to offer on this channel.